I will start you like this. Attention. So we have uh, two Go. blades rather than one Get in this ready, race, please. and it's a quadruple skull. Both, uh, all the athletes have two blades. Attention. On the right of your screen, it's a composite crew from Cardiff University and Agecroft Rowing Club up there in the northwest. And on the left of your screen, it's a very strong crew from the University of Virginia and Potomac Club USA, of course, from Washington, Washington, D.C., where the Potomac River flows through. And uh, both crews have gone off very fast, but particularly Cardiff University and Agecroft, Kath Bishop. Yeah, I'm really impressed by them. It's a very clean start. Uh, it's very important in quadruple skull when you're at high rates and um, high race high race speeds that, that you have that cleanness, and that's quite difficult off a start, but they've really done well. They've got a length really quickly, and it's still staying very clean. Well, I came prepared to talk about the pedigree of this uh, University of Virginia and Potomac Boat Club, of course, with uh, bowman Sam Stitt, but uh, let's have a look at the the boys from uh, Cardiff University and Agecroft Rowing Club. They've got a great program down there in Cardiff University. Really strong uh, links, as we can see, with other clubs, Agecroft Rowing Club uh, in particular. And uh, some of the men they've got in this boat, uh, we'll get a look there. You can see Pete Robertson in the two seat with that very distinctive uh, blue top on. Uh, in the European Championships 8 for, for Britain in uh, 2012, where the 8 finished 5th, it was a great uh, race. I remember that in Varese, they were very, very competitive to the last 250 metres. He's a really strong rower, and he's made the transition to sculling excellently, and they're just putting miles of clean water between them and the Americans. You can see the, the amount of covers per stroke is great in that boat, and then so the, the gap between one set of puddles and the next set of puddles, I mean, they're just leaping down the course. It's brilliant to see that we've got such strength coming in all the clubs around the country now. It's really not just centred in the southeast anymore. We saw the Liverpool crew earlier, and here we've got a combination of Cardiff and Agecroft, and this is what's making British rowing so much stronger. So we've got a shot there. Let's just remind ourselves of the competition on the right of your screen. It's the Americans, the crew from the University of Virginia and Potomac Boat Club. But on the left of your screen, it's the composite crew from Cardiff University and Agecroft Rowing Club. And they are driving this race. They're in the driving seat. Probably about a length and a half lead. Certainly clear water ahead of the Americans on the right and uh, looking very confident. And uh, I think their coach, Michael Hughes, I think it is, who coaches the Cardiff crew, will be very, very pleased. There's a lot of poise in that crew, isn't there? They just really lock their blades nicely. There's a lot of flow as they come out forward, Kat. They're getting the run in between the strokes, so there's sort of two, two parts of the boat to the stroke that make the boat move, and it's the power you apply, but then it's letting the boat move in between, and both are critical to boat speed, and for four big, powerful guys like this, it's great to see them allowing the boat move in between the application of the power. I think uh, we can see the Agecroft man with the red top. I think that's Hugh Galley in the bow seat, furthest away from us in that Cardiff Agecroft quad. And of course, he's uh, a trialist for Britain in the lightweight singles, I think, this year, and uh, did very well in those lightweight trials held earlier this year. So, if you're thinking this is a, a strange result, well, it's not if you know the pedigree of these four men in the Cardiff University quad. Hugh Galley, Pete Robinson, Robbie Massey and Sam Whitaker. And Cardiff University are forced to be reckoned with. It's great to see the names changing in our sport because, you know, you get financial support. I know Welsh rowing has done such a good job in that area of the world. And they are really defeating a strong, very strong American crew. So Cardiff in the white boat, top of your picture. The yellow boat, it's the fancied Americans. And Sam Stipp took a look round there, and I think it's probably too much to ask. Yep, it's too late now. I mean, they really haven't been in this race. It's been dictated all the way by a fantastic Cardiff and Agecroft crew. So there's the finish. The Cardiff and Agecroft crew in that uh, Hudson Quadruple Skull with a clear water victory over the University of Virginia and Potomac Boat Club. And uh, there, I think, is uh, Pete Robertson in the blue of Cardiff University. And uh, a fantastic opening heat of them in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup.